you'll be the life of the party. You cook cheese, baby. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Walk here, the kid, King Coach Cheese Outdoors. This episode, Blackfish with my boys. You remember him from the old days, TJ Hooker. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, TJ Hooker, that's what you is here. And who else we got? Cousin nice. Jerry's here, and we have Matty Moose, who's got a hook. We're gonna take some of his face off. <laughs> that's right, Matty Moosey, all right? We're gonna have a video right now. It's a quick video. It's gonna be, uh, just a compilation of a couple of black fish trips. We have a brother Matthew on the boat, right? Let's just put it this way. Matthew's not a huge fishing fan. A couple years ago, I took him out in Montauk and uh, he wanted to cut his wrist and dive and try to swim for sure, all right? He was out so long, didn't like it. But you gotta bear with us right here. Matthew now, or we call Matty Moose. That's what we used to call him when we were growing up. When we got to tell you, all right? Uh, Matthew hooks into a good fish. It's a legit black fish, no doubt about it. He's on, he doesn't know what the hell he's got on. But before he did that, he said, I'm gonna, PG it. I don't even, never heard of that before, but PG means personal guarantee, all right? So he baits this thing up, and I always say that when I'm black fishing, when you have the right bait, you know, like this bait's gonna kill it right there. You just, sh you, you feel it? I'm sure you all done that, all right? If not, no, not you, but not yet you. You've probably done that, all right? Looks over his shoulder and tells me, he goes, PG on this one, personal guarantee on to catch a fish. The thing is the bottom, within seconds, he's onto a good fish, all right? Check it out. He gets a little excited, he curses a lot, holy hat. I mean, he, I literally have to bleep the beans out of this one. But this is a kid-friendly show right now. So we gotta bleep it out. I apologize for the foul language, but that happens. When you get excited, guess half that happens, all right? He's excited about this fish, all right? We all are. Guess a dish, make it happen, Captain. Please, I don't know if you heard that, but Matthew is guaranteeing a, bait, a fish on his bait right now. So we're going live on him right now. Oh, that good. <laughs> what do you say? He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Oh, he's fighting it big time, baby. <laughs> Look at this guy go. <laughs> oh, that's a good freaking fish. Moose, give me the water. I do. Keep pressure on it. Yeah. Don't tell me the net's under all the bait boards. You're an amateur. I gotta lift him. I gotta lift him. Got some juice. No, don't do anything. No, that's just that's, that's the one we want the net with. For. All right, hold on, hold on. It's right here. Hold. I still want to put him with pressure. Nice, back Mark. Up. I like back it, Mark. Up, back up, back up, back up. Fish on. Woo! Did you just pull a blackfish through a tuna door? Are you trying to lose subscribers? Woo! <laughs> PG! Personal guarantee! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's Face, bro! If it's in the blood, it's in the blood! Oh, shit, I'm on. No. Yeah, I took you off. Give me the camera. Take the rod. Take the rod. Tommy Duto's on now. This one's definitely not a keeper, though. <laughs> Why not? Uh, it's just not. There's not enough on it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. She's fighting a little bit. <laughs> That's not even a bit of fish. That's going to keep getting in here. Don't, don't put it next to this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy s. <laughs> Matty Moose. <laughs> Holy s. Sorry, bro. I had to catch you. That's called a Woo. PG. That is a great fish. That one's good, too. That thing was fighting. Matty Moose with the fish. I didn't think it was a blackfish, that's for sure. <laughs> it was like a sailfish, <laughs> tuna. <laughs> you know, it felt like the tuna I caught last year. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's get that fish up. Now, here's the bait du jour. Now, I got a couple legs off. Send them out to them, and that's it. I'm right, gonna come in his back leg here. Come out the middle leg, just like that. That's the bait. 
Usually what they'll do is they rip that claw off and get to work on the body. Well, let's see if it works. There it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Alright, so that's the bait right there. Now, I'm going to go right now. That's probably not a good call. But I'm going to let the camera just roll on me straight. No edits. To show you what the bite is like. It's a quick bite. If you're not on that bite, move on. Alright, but this I'm just, it's very hard to show black fishing and make it exciting. Although Matthew was excited. Personal guarantee! <laughs> but I'm saying, like, people with the GoPro on their head and they just keep catching fish after fish. You know, it's like one of those things. So what I suggest right now is, if you have any razor blades near you, make sure you get them away from you because you might want to cut your wrist for this next couple of seconds. But I'm going to play it anyway. Straight through, unedited, some black fishing right there, right? That's the bait we used. Half baits, again, take that shell off in the beginning when you get to the bite, build up that bite. Once you start to build up that bite, those things aren't going anywhere. They're savages, they'll eat crazy, all right? So don't be afraid of that, they're not lying straight. Well, I have a few people, dis you'll dispute that, but I'll show you under the footage that obviously proves my point. <laughs> So you guys get the idea. It's just non-stop action. I think I, I must have caught 50, 50 fish right there, exactly that. But what kind of fun is that? I'm out there by myself. I had to drop the boat there, blah, blah, blah. All right, did some fishing. Uh, so Christmas is coming. All right, so let's go into a quick little thing for title tales. What should you get for Christmas? All right, so please, don't forget, this is a blackfish jigging trip, all right? What do you get for those? These bad boys right here. That's the old flat jig that Johnny Knight likes. And this is my jig right here. That is a banana jig. What's the banana jig hooked up to? A camera, baby, all right? Got a little underwater footage right now. All right, that's not gonna be this episode. That's gonna be the Greek episode. So it's like on the queue here, right? Unfortunately, my uh, episodes take me five days apiece, full days to even edit. When you start to edit, and you can do stuff like that. Well, let's just try something different here. Matter of fact, this is probably a nice little thing here. I mean, when somebody can go like this and have a flower just grow, well, you know, that's that's some, some state-of-the-art stuff. Oh, you want me to get rid of the flower? It's that simple. Basically, I want to dedicate those two CGI episodes right there to my boy, Captain Scott Troy. So he's a big fan of the uh, CGI stuff. Best band of Charles. Hey, Tom. Spearfisher. Psychos. All right, so that's it. What's my point here? It's Christmas time. You tell your wife, all right? And I, I think there's about three women that watch this show. So you guys can pay dull. But you tell your wife and you say, hey, go on to titletales.com. Get me the flats. Me, personally, I go for the old. Oh, jeez. I go for the old freaking banana jigs. So basically what you want to do is you go to your wife and say, sugar pants. What? I dash. That's usually like, they like when you call them that. Oh. But you say, sweet pie, go to WW. I'll put it right here, make it easy for you. I won't even put it on fire, but I'll put fire on top of that thing right there. All right, sound effects fire. All right, bring some sound effects in. 
All right, so there you go. Sound effects out, because I'm talking right now. Shush. I'm going inside here. So what are you telling your wife right now? Sugar pants. Do not call her that. Shoot the lock off your wallet. Go to titletales.com. Simple as that. And say, order me. And don't have to say like that, but say be kind about it. Please order me a 25 pack of the three quarter ounce banana jigs. Why? Because they're freaking ridiculously awesome. I'll show you in the upcoming videos. But if you guys are fluke fishermen in the ocean, say hey, do me a favor, throw a couple of big balls in there, Johnny's big balls. Throw that in the little gift package. Throw in the cart. Hopefully my boy Scott Choice, who I also call Scooter. So you got Scooter on Big Nuts and you got Scooter on Bass Bandit Charters. Alright, if your name is Scott, I'm calling you Scooter and so will the con. Right now Mikey out there is uh, out with Big Nuts Required. Alright, check that out right there. I don't know if you can see it. But that's Mikey right there. And then we got our boy Charlie Moore right there. TV's Mayor Fisherman. He follows the kid. Alright, Charlie's the best man. I'll tell you, if anybody's ever inspired me to do video, it's Charlie Moore. You probably say, who the hell is Charlie Moore? Charlie Moore's a Northeast legend, all right? ESPN guys, he was like a pioneer of this stuff. But what Charlie Moore did for me, and I had, I had feedback from other people like, hey, yo, bro, you can't have a glass of wine on video. That's a bad example. I go, really? I watched Charlie Moore. Charlie Moore smoked cigars, and kids do not smoke cigars. But he's drinking wine after dinner. I'm like, if Charlie's doing it, I am going to try it, all right? So that's what I do. So this, this channel is very transparent, as you all know, all right? We have a couple of sarsaparillas. We'll drink a little vino, but we're not scotch drinkers, all right? We don't have a problem. I do have a nice bottle of scotch, though. I don't know what it is. Daddy Mac gave it to me. I have to share with him. I had it right there, but Michelle put it down in the wine cellar. Whatever. All right, what am I talking about right now? But we got Mikey over at MK Outdoors. It's calling Scooter Scooter right now. Where am I going with this video? I'm looking over there. Ah, I'm looking at my cue. Now what we got, we got Team Steigs out, we got Bobby out, alright? These guys are brand new, I don't know if Bobby is, but the Steigs crew is brand new into uh, black fishing. We got him out there, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, Bobby, Tommy Steigs, and Justin Steigs out, bro. They had a better chance of seeing freaking the sput and the kid in the groin than catching a keeper black fish. They had a tough day, they did great, they learned. But the keepers weren't all on their side. The kid had to catch all the keepers. I had to feed these guys. They were out there starving. They had like flies in their mouth, like that the Channel 13 commercial. All right, so I'm like, relax. Take all the fish I caught, my keepers, all right? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm like Robin Hood. All right, so let's go to Stikes right now. He's with his boy Bobby out there. Live action. What the hell did you do there? <laughs> Sorry. What a whack. What happened with your last fish? It was too big. We had to send him back. All right, you, you got to go home, go to bed. There, you go. there we go. Love that. That's gonna happen. All right, so we're gonna go live back action on you right now. Live action. All right. Let me get back. Make it my, happen. Let me get There's back no pressure. There's no pressure life. here. Let's see what happens. This is live action. If I go back over there, I'm gonna lose another rig. Right. So we I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, big Tommy boy over there with a the big boy. There's a lot of pressure. Okay, go. Jeez, the audience is watching right now. Oh. <laughs> Took my camera time. <laughs> right. ah. Ah, swing it up there. That's what you say the ladies about that right there. Jesus Christ. Alright, go ahead. You may have been skunked. Got greens. Look at the size of that. Oh. 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 It's a baby, but it was still. Oh. Perfect release. Alright, so this Team Stags right there. Alright, they're having a tough time. So when it comes to keepers, who do you bring out? You bring out the lefty. Well, that's my right arm. It's not even legal. It's, I don't think I registered this year in New York State. It's a little gun I had to die. Should... I'm bringing in the lefty right now. And who's that? It's my pro, Jay Hunter. My son Hunter. This kid can fish, obviously. The kid, man, when he was, I, I think he was two years old when I had him out in the boat by myself. I think it was two. It was either two or four. Two or four, still young, right? I have no business with a two-year-old. You really shouldn't be around any kids. Uh, I don't know. I had my when he was two years old. You're saying, you're saying so two years old? That's pretty damn reckless, isn't it? Shut your mouth. All right? I have him in the pocket pile house. What do I do? Stick him in the cabin, throw a little, uh, one of those folding uh, DVD players on there, lock him in and put the cooler in front so he couldn't sneak out. All right? So I knew he was in there. Even the Birdman of Alcatraz couldn't get out of that freaking pile house without me knowing. All right, darn lays. All right, but we got a hunter out there and his boy Greg, all right? These guys are out there. Greg is new to Jig and Blackfish. Picks it up like a champ. Greg is a semi-pro, like bass fisherman, fresh water, stuff like that. So two different techniques, all right? So in the beginning, I'm watching him. He's dropping the tip, trying to set the hook on these things. I go, go cheese. Shh. 
shake it easy, all right? Take it easy. We're gonna just do a lift pattern on these guys. And he looks much faster than he should, but he's getting getting fish. So he's getting out of that drop to, and set. It's more of a lift, and you can catch those fish. So Greg starts whacking fish. Hunter's whacking fish on the jig. Title this. Let's go take a peek at them. All right, Greg's fish is a nice fish, almost there. And my fish, oh, he was big enough, and he was going into the jacuzzi. All right, folks, so that's going to do it. I appreciate you guys taking your time to watch Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. If you have a second, consider subscribing. Like if you like. How you doing, ladies? Uh, got episodes coming up. I got Cousin Jerry out in there blasting fish. Who is he fishing with? Jerry was out there fishing with Tommy Stiggs, I think. My whole blab all messed up. I guess we damn freaking fishing thing. Then we got the Greeks. Oh, you mo- You mo- Western Sound. We sneak into Connecticut, right? So we sneak it over there. On the if I bring the preacher over to Connecticut, it'll be over me like a big fighter. All right. So I sneak into Connecticut. I'm like this, giving them the nubs. I'm giving Connecticut the nubs, snatching that fish and running. All right. So that's what we do. We're from New York. We take what we want, guys. The fish. I'm kidding. Connecticut con is super strong in the Connecticut. I love Connecticut con. All right. Very gracious. Love those cats out there. And on that note, when I'm signing off here, Connecticut, I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving over there. Thanks. This is going to air right before Thanksgiving, so I want to wish you all, Connecticut, Eastern Seaboard, my boys out west. Where else? we got people in Australia. we got the cons all over the place, all right? Although YouTube hates me, and I couldn't care less, the con. I love the con, all right? They're such a great audience, and uh, blessed to have them. I want to wish them all a happy Thanksgiving. Have a blessed time with your family. Uh, be thankful for what your cats got, bro. Be thankful that you have each other. And uh, all you kids out there who watch the show, be thankful for your lovely parents that take you out fishing. Or at least they try to learn a thing or two. I mean, I'm not sure if they're learning anything from me. Maybe they're learning how to edit. I don't know. I don't know how to edit. I'm like a half <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I am a half I, I don't know what that'll say. I don't know what to say. But whatever, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching Kid Coach East Outdoors. Stay tuned. We have another Blackfish episode coming up. We have uh, the Greek guys with uh, Title Tales. Jerry puts a clinic on there. I got vault. I almost took my gear and broke it to pieces. I wasn't on that day. I was off today. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't there. I'm always not there, though. Shake of these. Thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. May the grace of God shine upon all of you mother truckers out there. Alright? And that's the way I said it. Because I'm like a weirdo. <laughs> Shake of these. Hey guys, thanks again for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Consider subscribing below. Like if you like. And remember, all content herein is that Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Not any sponsor. Happy Thanksgiving, cats.